Hi everyone, this is Sam Turner with Head Turner Customs. Um, just wanted to do a video update on our latest project, which is, uh, it was the Kubota diesel motorcycle, um, but it ended up, uh, we had a big issue. <laughs> the, uh, the bike accidentally fell off its kickstand and landed on its side and crushed the turbo. And uh, when uh, it did that, I had to use a floor jack and three people helped me lift it back up onto its two tires. So the bike was just way too heavy to be a two-wheeled motorcycle. So I decided to go with something like a retro reverse trike to keep with the same leaf spring era um, type of build. Um, I did a Studebaker uh, front axle. It's off a 1954 Studebaker truck. Um, the spindles are off a 1932, I think it's a Ford. And um, it's got a disc brake conversion kit by Pete and Jake that are, uh, I think, make the metric floating calipers. Um, and then I've got some Model B rims. Uh, these are just the rusty ones, but I've got two that are freshly painted from by a friend of mine, uh, Young Blood Customs. And um, he uh, did a real good job cleaning them up and painting them for me. And uh, I'm just waiting to get some tires mounted and balanced on them. But um, I've got the radius rods running back and they're welded on the frame. I built a support um, where the pivot points for the steering used to be. I adapted it to be a support for this 90 degree gearbox that's going to have my handlebar attached to it. And I haven't built them yet, but it's going to have a, uh, a pitman arm right here that pivots back and forth and will connect to this drag link. So when I pull it, it'll go left, and if I push it, it'll go right. That'll be the steering mechanism. And so it should be a one-to-one -one ratio between left and right up here. Hopefully the weight of the bike won't make that too awful to turn, but we'll just have to see. Um, the CBT transmission, everything still lines up like the original one did. Um, that's about it. I, I replaced the turbo that had the uh, exhaust housing was cracked and... Uh, kind of bent over to one side, so it was definitely uh, no good after that. But luckily, this, it must have taken all the hit here because none of these components are bad. They held up, so. All right, well, um, that's the build update on this one. And there's not a whole lot I've been able to do on the single cylinder bike. Um, it's coming along. Slowly but surely, but uh, it's been on the side burner at the moment as, I, as I've been focusing on the uh, straight axle uh, for the trike over there. But if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you.